We're not going to be touching the top because it's dangerously unsafe and the client's getting the scaffold in place in a few weeks time so we're going to support it uh, from below and then we'll take down the ground and the first floor. Um, so yeah let's take you inside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is all going. Things to watch out for as this is coming down, this floor joist. Just need to double check that no, this chimney stack is not supporting any joist. Where it's quite wide, I don't think it would be, but just as something to point out, once you get down to this level, just have a little check. And this is it so because we haven't got access to get to that top level all we're gonna do is again it's quite hollow here as well it's just punch a couple of holes in it and then we've got two acros two strong boys we have got a needle as well but because of the way the joists run Uh, the joists run this way into it so we're going to put a ball down and then we'll prop off of that and then uh, hopefully Yeah, it's what I thought. So it was obviously dot and dab over the top of it. So we're going to put two strong boys in here, only because you've got most of the weight is on the sides. It's only small. One would probably be sufficient in here, but better to be safe than sorry. We'll put one in here, one in that side. Just do one at a time. And then um, we can safely remove that chimney then. I just have a little look what we've done here so i'll just punch the hole i left the sides easier this is taking majority of the weight in the middle it's obviously hollow so um yeah we put two strong boys in the middle it didn't work out right on the hole wasn't getting it nice and tight so i put a piece of timber on there and they are rock solid now so we can safely take that down and uh, that's it really, so let's see, start seeing how it comes down. coming down uh, fairly easily these bricks are solido but we're doing all right get that last little bit down and then we'll have a break 
quick recharge and then we'll hit the ground floor. Alright, so first challenge of the day. First hurdle. So these joists are actually supported onto that chimney with uh, joist hangers that have been ground into the chimney stack. So we need to get some more supports underneath it and a scaffold across to take the load of this floor below before we can carry on any further. So that's what we're going to do now. to that brickwork, whoever's done that. I know it's in the chimney, but fuck me. An absolute mess. is happening we are done let's have a little look jobs are good on this was a bit of a ball out this afternoon sean had to jump on the breaker because uh my wrists and my elbows started to hurt a little bit the breakers playing up um basically you have to put a lot of effort in for it to start the uh what do they call it, a piston? Called a piston? Isn't it? Process will <laughs> Anyway, right. So that is that. If you stay tuned, we're back here tomorrow and we're gonna be reinstating these joists. So what we're gonna be doing is putting a trimmer through there. We'll have to cut that double back. Put hangers either end, hangers on this side. We'll do a wall plate um, with chemical studs, probably. Right, what's happening, guys? We're back again to the job in Chelmsford where we took this chimney stack down yesterday. Um, now, we're basically we're going to reinstate the trimmers and the joists in that hole, but. It's not going to be as straightforward as we'd like because we have a double joist here which we believe is supporting that wall above so we don't really want to be putting singles in and you know what I mean so we're going to make sure we do it properly just so there's no comebacks so we need to double this joist up with some bolts, M12 bolts, punts into the wall, which will run the whole length of the room. The same on that one, double that one up, and then we can put a double across, all on hangers,
can fix a wall plate, so there's quite a lot of skills that you're gonna be getting shown on this one. Hopefully, it's not gonna take us too long. Um, pretty much got a full kit out today. We've got the SDS, because we're gonna be doing, <coughs> drilling some holes, <coughs> drilling some holes for the chem fix impact driver don't think i'm going to need the jiggy but it's out uh reciprocator so we're going to cut down the sides of the plasterboard with that watching out for cables got the ppn gun and i've got the table saw it's like a car boot cell this um nail gun and a circular saw so those are the tools that we need get a little bench set up the reason we've got the table saw is because the existing joists are 38 or 35 mil, a bit like the truss joist, so um, just in case anything don't marry up properly, and the heights as well, it's coming out 190 on the tape, um, and the closest timbers we can get is 195, so we don't want any steps down, so I've got a plane, I can plane it off, or I can just buzz it through the table saw. So. This timber has got an, obviously a natural camber, but it's sticking down about 10 mil. So what we've done, we've put a fixing in either end, just using an acro, just to jack it up, get it nice and level, nice and flat, and then I'll nail that, hold it, and then we can get our bolts in there.
making good progress here. So we've got the two doubles in, the long ones in, punched into the wall. Both ends. So that's got our bearing, that end, all the way down, punched into the party wall there. This dust bin uh, fired in with our nail gun and then we'll go around with the bolts at the end. We've got the double trimmer going through, which is picking up these joists now. Again, that's just been fired in. So we get that jiffy hangers on. Sean's just cutting the timber for the wall plate, so we've gone tight from that joist to this one. Hopefully I can utilize and nail it either end and then we can drill and fix the chem bolt. So that's our next task. Run out of nails, didn't I? Run out of nails, yeah. As soon as I got the camera out. Cables, we had to cut them to get our doubles in. We have been put on Wagos just to make safe and get the electrics back up and running. So the client's going to have to get get a uh, get his sparky round just to sort them out. And that is that. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.